to my channel today. I'm here with Jess. Hi everyone. As you can see, and this video was actually his idea. I think it's a really good idea, so here we are. I, what well, we, popped into Aldi yesterday for a few vegetables, and when we were in there, we like walked past this like whole shelf of like plant-based food, and I don't think I've ever seen it in there before. I mean, I never really look for stuff like that in Aldi. I don't know why. There's like loads of people near there as well, weren't yeah. there? And I was like, oh, what's this? It was all very colourful packaging. And I just got really excited. I saw a couple of bits. I was like, I definitely need to buy them. And then Jasper was like, why don't you just buy one of everything? And then film like a taste test video. And I was like, oh, genius. Yeah, I, think right. I like the packaging for all of them, to be honest. Yeah, yeah it's really colourful. But I was just really surprised to see it in there. I know four out of the six things we bought are new. I'm not sure if the other two are. I don't know if the whole range is new. It's called their plant menu. But I've got the receipt in front of me. Yeah. I'll show you the bits that we bought. And then we're going to cook it all. The oven's currently on. So we're going to stick it in the oven because it's lunchtime. Yeah. And try some of it on camera for you and let you know what we think of it. Sounds good. Yeah. First up, we have these barbecue jackfruit rolls. Yep, sounds like good. Like sausage rolls. If you saw my veganuary taste testing video, mm -hmm. You'll know that I'm not the biggest fan of like puff pastry or just pastry, but I'm not interested in that. I'm all about the filling. Yeah. Because I know that I'm in the minority here. Most people like puff pastry, right? You were just concerned that I may not That's like That's right. These. She's not the biggest fan of barbecue at all, barbecue sauce or anything, which I, I like barbecue sauce, so I think this is right on my street. If you guys are vegans or vegetarians and you've been a vegan or a vegetarian like your entire life, leave me a comment down below and let me know because I have this theory, if you grew up eating meat, I feel like people like barbecue sauce, whereas if you're a non-meat eater, like if you have been a non-meat eater your entire life, there's never a need for barbecue sauce and so I feel like... It just adds flavour to the, you know, grilled stuff and, you know, or anything baked, but yeah, the sausage rolls, I'm sure it... Be right. Yeah, because like everyone in my family and everyone that I know that has always been a vegetarian or a vegan, they just hate barbecue sauce. So I think it's like a meat thing, mm. meat eater thing. Anyway, so you have the barbecue jackfruit rolls and then you also have these no pork sausage rolls and they're made from seasoned mushroom mince, which sounds quite nice. They, ha I have high expectations for these because I actually quite like the Greg's vegan sausage roll. And it's not something that I'd normally buy. So I'm expecting a lot from these. What do you think that'll be like? I think you'll like the, these ones more than the other ones. They both should be nice, hopefully. I love jackfruit though. It's just barbecue sauce that I hate. I think the only thing that probably mainly lets these kind of things down is the pastry, I think. If the pastry's not that good, then... Yeah, because Aunt Greg's like known for their pastries. Yeah, that's so what they're all about. I think like, that's why you'd like them as well. Because the uh, pastry was good. Let me tell you how much... These are both 99p, mm. so... The Greg's one's a pound, so like you get two for the price of one. That's not bad. Or... That's pretty good. Next up, two things that you chose. Yeah. Not from. Mm. I don't know. I actually think they'll be nice, but I was a bit. I thought it was a bit weird, like the name. Yeah, it's a dodgy name. I've never, I've never come across it before. That one. Sausages. Do you want to tell them what you chose? Yeah, so I chose both of them, didn't I? Yeah. yeah. So I chose this one. I mean, I've never tried it before because I've never seen a flavour like this on sausages. Sausages. It's called masala roast cauliflower. Sausages. I mean, I love roast cauliflower and I love like Indian spiced roast cauliflower. I've just never seen it in like sausage form. <laughs> yeah, even, even this one. <laughs> well, this one sounds a bit nicer. Red pepper and butternut squash sausages. I think you'll probably like these more, I guess. Yeah, so these actually instantly reminded me of, I don't know if they still do them, but the M&S Plant Kitchen red pepper and something sausages. They look just like that and we have had them in the past. And I can't remember if we loved them or hated them. I know I had strong opinions on them. And I always do this. I always think, oh, I either loved it or I really hated it. It's like Marmite, doesn't it? Which one. Yeah. I think that'd be nice. I actually think the masala and roast cauliflower ones will be nicer. Yeah. It, again, none of these things are stuff that I would have normally... Well, actually, the sausages maybe. I would have probably bought these, the um, red pepper and butternut squash ones. But I think I'll like the sausages more than the um, sausage roll bits. Yeah. But yeah. I believe so. Um these were both one pound fifty nine each, which I think is really cheap. Well, that's not bad. For six sausages, one pound fifty nine. Okay, so these are the two things I actually wanted to buy. And the fact that there was literally one of each one left on the shelves was a yeah. really good sign. I was like, Oh, this is really exciting. Like it must be popular. But it's also new. They they all say I'm new on them. But the ones I was the most excited about 
with these Korean inspired veggie babs, kebabs. <laughs> what do you mean? These. I can kind of smell you can, them. You can't smell them. You've got you can't, you can't smell them through it a little bit. You kind of can, yeah. Like the veggie-ness of I mean, it. Like, sorry, the uh, kebab. Yeah, like I love Asian food. And in fact, I used to just say it was Southeast Asian food and not really Indian, but since lockdown, I love Indian food. Uh, I don't know, like mm. something's happened to me. But I love, like Asian cuisine as a whole continent is like my absolute favorite. And come on, like I was not gonna leave these on the shelf. Mm. So we're definitely gonna try these, right? Yeah, I think they'd be right. Oh, shallow fry? No, don't say that. No, it says not baked. Should be able to bake them. You probably grill them. I probably grill them. I'm not shallow frying anything. All oh, right. Must be a reason if you. Oh, shallow fry is not deep fry. Okay, it's fine. You just put them in a. Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, so this is what I was really excited about. And I'm still really excited to try these. And then I saw these, and again, there was only one left on the shelf, so of course I had to buy it. And these are Zanzibar inspired veggie babs. So these ones contain courgette, chickpea, and roasted red pepper kebabs. Sounds so nice, that, that it? sounds good as well. Great combination. I can't smell these, can you? <laughs> no, only that one there, that first one. Oh, this one I didn't tell you. Contains mushroom, sweet potato, courgette and rice kebab. Not the biggest fan of sweet potato in things, but I don't think it'll be sweet because of the, the Korean spices. So yeah, really mm. excited for these two. Same what are you yeah. excited for the most? Um, maybe the sausages, the red pepper, but that's sausage. This one here, and mm. uh, maybe also these. Yeah, that's the, the Korean, Korean way. Yeah, kebabs. Right, well, yeah. I, I want to try all of them really, but obviously the two. I reckon I like these the most. The one that you. Yeah, I want to try all of it. It's just this. This just makes me like feel kind of bloated. Just looking. At I think it, yeah, one of one of these sausage rolls could fill us up easily. It's not the sort of thing I would normally eat, but I'm gonna try and be impartial and just be like, this is what I think of it. Anyway. The oven's been on for quite a long time, so it's definitely preheated. We're going to cook a lot, all, not all of this stuff, bits from each pack and do a taste test. Yep. Excited? Yeah, I sure am. Ow! I really am. That's a, what a weird. That's a tiny little... I really am. Let's do it again. No. Oh, she's silly. Okay. We're back with our feasts. So I cooked all of the kebabs. These darker ones, Jas, are the Korean kebabs. Okay. Um, the yellow ones are the Zanzibar ones. Yep. You'll know which sausage is which. And the sausage rolls I've cut in half are the barbecue jackfruit ones. And the whole one is the no pork one. Cool. One of the things in particular when I was cooking, smells so good. I think it's gonna taste really good. I'm very excited for the kebabs. What do you wanna try first? You, you decide. The dark kebab? Really? I thought you'd pick something that we're most likely not it's just likely to not like. No, maybe because... Okay, the dark kebab. Okay, go on. Yeah, because I'd rather get full of the good stuff. <laughs> you probably go backwards, like the worst to the best, like you normally do. But then you might get too t full and you say, oh damn, I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> okay, dark kebab it is. So, are we trying it without... Yeah. ...sauces? Okay, we'll go for this one. Mm. I like it. It's it so there. good. Yeah. Mm. I like it. It's 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 so good. Yeah. You don't need a sauce on this one. <clears throat> That's so nice. I'm really impressed with that. I like this one. Mmm. It's a good thumbs up. It doesn't up taste one. very Korean though, does it? Yeah. <laughs> it actually got that like, Indian use, yeah? Mm. Yeah, but it's good. Definitely a thumbs up for me for that one. Really good. This is the uh, Korean kebab, and it has mushroom, sweet potato, courgette, and rice kebab. You know what? I can taste the rice and the um, carrots. Is it called carrots? I think it's got carrots. Carrots, yeah. It tastes a bit like my grand's pakoras that she makes the video that I filmed. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. That literally has courgettes. Doesn't have mushrooms. Courgettes, carrots, and rice. Yeah. So it is a bit Indian-y, but it's really nice. I actually it's more, really like that. Yeah, it's more Indian-y than Korean, I think. I hope I finished it. Okay, I'm not finishing mine because I'm just going to taste everything. I could not, you know, when I, when I, when I like something, I like it, you know. 
Okay. So I finish it. You want to go for this half sausage roll, right? I cut the um, <coughs> sausage rolls in half so we know which one's which. It's like mini sausage rolls now. This is the barbecue jackfruit one. Okay, let's go for it. I can smell barbecue now that I've cut it. Oh yeah, I can, I can smell the barbecue in it. Okay. Barbecue jackfruit. Yeah, it's sweet. It's sweet and pastry. There's a lot of pastry there. There's hardly any filling. There's more pastry, I think, than well, see, yeah, there's more pastry than than the actual filling. There's nothing about it. It's one of those where you're hungry, you'll eat it, but I wouldn't say wow. I mean, mm. if it's on a plate to choose, and I know there's other things on there, I probably won't pick this one. It's okay. I think it needs sauce on it, but then it defeats the object. It needs to taste nice on its own. I've got right? ketchup here, just in case you want some. But it's not too barbecuey, so it's fine. Which is probably why I don't like it. It's just not very nice. There's far too much pastry, not enough filling. Mm. Like, I wouldn't buy this again. Let's try the no pork one. Yeah. Just to remind you, the barbecue jackfruit rolls. Yeah, just jackfruit in a hickory flavoured barbecue sauce. Wrapped it's just in that. Pastry. It's just not. You know when you sort of compare? Like, it's not the fresh. I think the it's pastry. It's just a bit like buying a it's not like, value you know, meal from somewhere. Yeah, like a, that's right. But you know how you get the Greg's pastry? It's not like that. Because I know Greg's obviously mm. fresher than this, but. I think that's what it's probably lacking, I think, as well, because of pastry. You can actually taste the difference between this and the Greg's pastry, can't you? You're not yeah. a pastry fan. Yeah, you can. Okay, I'll try the next one. Next, we're going for the no pork sausage rolls, which is basically seasoned mushroom mince. I'm a bit concerned that this probably the same pastry on here as well, then. Yeah, of course, they... it's the same pastry. And then it doesn't do any justice to the middle, then, I guess. Let's give it a go. This one for me is a bit nicer. Mmm, it is nicer. Yeah, well, surprisingly for me because I thought I liked the chuck, the barbecue one. It doesn't taste of mushrooms, does it? No. Oh. It's good if you're not a mushroom fan. I, I quite think, like this. Yeah, I mean, if someone gave this to me, I would think it's like real sausage in it. Yeah, it tastes like real. Mm. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know the difference if someone told me. It's not as nice as the greatest one, but it's not bad. I actually quite like this. I would just take off a lot of the pastry. Yeah, I do like this one. I'm surprised with that. I didn't think I'd like it. Yeah, I did actually like that one. Hmm. So we're going to try this one next. It's the red pepper and butternut squash sausage, which is here. It's quite, um, before we like bite into it, it's quite sausage-y. I know it sounds really weird, but I'm so sure the M&S ones that I've had, like the vegetable ones that aren't soya or whatever, they don't hold their sausage shape. Oh, right. They're quite like meh. Yeah, this one you does. Know? Yeah. Whereas this one has held its well, shape. Good. Let's cool. give it a go. I'm going to break it in half first. Mm. So I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, seems alright. <laughs> That's weird. I really don't like that. It's like. That's weird. Indian it's Indian, definitely, but it's not like a sausage. Like, no, no. Someone gave me that. It's like. Um, it's not very nice. I'm gonna cry one more bite, sticky. Mm -hmm. Ah. No. Don't know that one. No, I'm not a fan. What is it? Great, we've got six more. Um, oh, that's weird. Yeah, yellow split peas. It tastes like dull. Red pepper, roasted butternut squash, lentils, rice flour, cooked brown rice, chicken. I thought that was gonna be quite nice. Yeah, no. That was probably, I feel like of all them so far, it's probably... That's the worst, isn't that it? That is the worst for me. I'd yeah. take the barbecue <clears throat> jackfruit roll over that. They're not like, weird, it's weird. Can we just try the um, this one? Because I, okay, spoiler alert, I think that this Zanzibar kebab is going to be insane because that's the one that smelled so good. It just smelled like a like a barbecue like on the beach or something. It was really good. So can we try the sausage next? Yeah, that's how this and one And then the last one we'll try is the Zanzibar kebab. Okay, so let's try that one. This smells nice. Yeah, it smells like an nice. Indian huh? restaurant. It's got sage in it, doesn't it? Oh no, don't say nice. that. I no, can't just... eat sage. That's the one. I'm assuming it has. Let's have a look. I'm just going to have to check. Oh no, it's got yellow split peas in it again. This one actually tastes a little bit nicer. Okay, I can't see sage. No, wait, 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 wait for me. Okay. But something about this one as well. I mean, it tastes nice with a good one, but I'm not sure if it's really good. I don't like, unless it's bad and it tastes, makes the other one look nicer. 
I mean, it's marginally better, but it's not really better, is it? That's really weird about the sausage, isn't it? Yeah. How can you get sausages wrong? Because I'm not always a fan of these, like, vegetable sausages. I prefer them to like, look like pork sausages or whatever. Like, I prefer them to be soya. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't like that. That's a shame. We've had two hits and three misses. I think this the thing with the inside, because it's a sausage, but I think if it was a, it's meant to be something else, I reckon. Like, it's saucy. They've turned it into a sausage, but it's, be it's probably better off being as part of something else, I don't know. Like another dish or something. You know what they should do? What? They should make a sausage out of the minced meat that they put in that pork sausage roll. The no pork sausage roll. Oh, yeah. That, the inside of that would be a nicer sausage. No, do not like the sausage. So the sausages, both both type sausages weren't that good, I don't think. No. I just don't think I'll buy the vegetable-y sausages again. But I've tried sausages before, the vegan ones. No, they're soya. Oh, right. The corn ones that we yeah, like. Yeah, that's it. Even they're Linda nice. McCartney are mostly like some oh, sort right. of soya. They're not vegetable. These are oh. like made of red peppers and butternut squash. And the Richmond ones are just pure. Yeah, um, something about That's these. what it is. Maybe that's I'm what it is. Fan. Okay, let's try. I'm very excited. So these are, uh, these are being shallow fried, right? Yeah, so everything was baked in the oven apart from the kebabs. I just um, like put some fry light in a pan. And, yeah. But you can probably stick these on a grill. Um, a barbecue, sorry. What was this one again? The Zanzibar, oh, Zanzibar. inspired kebab. Courgette, chickpea and roasted red peppers. Alright, let's give this one a go and I hope I like this one. I don't mind this one. That's so nice. Yeah. Mm. That's my taste to this one. This taste... It's like... How it smells? Yeah, that's why. Hmm. Got a bit of spice as well. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely not this mm. one. Mm. So anything with a stick on it we've liked so far? Oh, the yes. Yeah, the carbs, yeah. Although, actually, hold on. I think I prefer the Korean one to this one. <coughs> Both of these are mm. like... I prefer the Korean one. They, they want to like a bit more, yeah, Korean one. But I still like this one. The moral of the story is... Don't get sausages from Aldi. <laughs> well, vegan sausages from Aldi. You know, the moral of the story is... I was only going to buy the Korean ones, remember? And then I saw the Zanzibar ones and I was like, okay, then you like to buy the rest of it. Yeah, I'll take that back now. Yeah, it wasn't really, like the sausages, just, oh, no. I don't even no. know if the sausages are new because they don't say I'm new anywhere, whereas the rest of the stuff <clears throat> does. So yeah. See. So, so they might like already be a. It's yeah. a no from me on this one, and a no from mm -hmm. me on these masala ones. Yeah. But the yes from me on these. The kebabs cups. are great, and if you're having a barbecue, they'd be so nice, just like just chucked <clears throat> in there with a bit of salad or. And the sausage rolls. What else do you have the kebab with? Hmm? One of the sausage rolls we didn't like, and then the no pork ones were nice. The the barbecue, the barbecue ones we didn't like. Mm. I mean, yeah. they're okay, but no, I didn't like them. So yeah, I'm gonna try the some of these. Three out of six is not bad. Yeah, not bad. I'm gonna try the. I'm gonna now go for the kebabs uh, with the sauces now after this. And then yeah, we'll just eat it. properly the bits we want to eat. Yeah. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, before I forget. They, they did have burgers as well. So they had a teriyaki burger that we saw and a something else burger. I can't remember the one. Name yeah. Of. But I'm not a big fan of burgers and I was conscious of the fact that I wouldn't have any space in my fridge to put all this stuff. So we didn't buy those. So yeah, let us know if you want to see like a different video, um, another video of us taste testing the burgers and whatever else we may find because this Audi that we popped into wasn't like our regular one and I noticed they all sell like different stuff in different yeah. branches so there may be more to this range but we liked 50% of it yeah. <laughs> so, yeah yeah let me know in the comments below if you've tasted any of these products and what you thought yeah everyone's taste buds are different so you maybe you like these ones that we didn't like and let me know the best vegan sausages you could buy from anywhere ever just let me know because I'm always on the hunt for a good sausage <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching and we will see you very soon with a new video. Yep. Bye. Bye.